Christmas family. I'm going to put some blueberries. Do you like blueberries? They're right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take this tiny spoon, smash them. Just a tiny bit. Greek yogurt. Chobani. <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> Just a tad, because don't know if I'm going to like this. Just a little. A little tiny dollop. Can you see that? Mom's best cereals, oats and honey granola. I already weighed out 14 grams, which is two points. I'm really in this for the granola. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you got a huge pimple on your neck, bro. I told you that yesterday, dude. No, why is it so red and like gross? <laughs> You You're doing a it? food video. No, I didn't touch it. I'm not going to. It hurts. Maybe it's a bug bite. Okay, then you can have 8 grams of honey. I mean, 8, yes. 8 grams of honey for one point. So we're going to do that. Okay. Here you have it. A yeah. little granola bar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not granola bar. Here you have it. A granola bar. <laughs> what do you call it? Yogurt parfait. A yogurt parfait. This is three points. If I don't like it, I'm not going to eat it. Do you. You do you, kid. Ugh. Ugh. Eh. Say it to the camera. Ugh. Like it. No, le gusta? No, you want it? Have Actually? <laughs> this, yeah. Actually? No, let me let me do it. Uh, uh, this is a Tina Marty. Actually, it's not bad. That's 100% what you would say. After I just spit it out. Yeah, that's 100% what you would say after. But actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> since I... <laughs> since actually? I, hmm. Since I mixed it, it's better. And also... I will say, definitely don't like Greek yogurt by itself. If you're gonna do a Tina Marty review, it, you're gonna say the word actually, but you have to wait a second. Actually, actually it's not that bad. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Do I want to eat it? I don't know. <laughs> will I? I also don't know. I'm not sure. Well. I need to make a decision though. Let me know. I'll leave it in the chat if you don't. It's, it's not good enough for three points for me. Yeah, that's a different story, right? I truly think it's the Greek yogurt. I'm showered. I'm going to do my makeup and hair really quick because it's 2.30. I just got a what I eat in a day up, which took forever because it just took forever to like process on YouTube. I needed to get something to eat because it's 2.30 and I'm starving. I exercised. I have two of these uh, brown rice thin stacker cakes for one point and one wedge of spicy pepper jack laughing cow that's what it's called laughing cow and i spread it i spread one wedge on two of them so it's just two points um as soon as i go out i'm gonna get coffee and probably a breakfast sandwich or something i'm not sure we'll see so even though it's 2 30 but that will be my lunch either way when i go out i'm getting lunch so this is my snack i'm gonna get lunch when i go out and i'll see you as soon as i am dressed Oh my goodness gracious. Did I even, did I forget my phone? I bet you so much that I forgot my phone. Inside. Ugh. Guys, that's so annoying. 
I did. I forgot my phone. Did I randomly put it in here? Dang it. So, this car stinks because the dog thing is still back here. Here's the plan. I can't go pick up my paper, which I didn't even tell you guys about, but I was supposed to go drive, like, it's like 20 minutes away to pick up cardstock that I need, and they close at 4, so I can't go pick that up. I do, however, first need to get gas, need to get something to eat. I am starving. Um, something to eat, coffee, gas, drop my orders off, and then first stop I think will be Target. Let's, let's see. I got the goods. So, I figured I would just pull into the parking lot over here. Dunkin' Donuts is right there. And eat what I got, drink my coffee, and chat with you about my day since it did not go as planned. So. First things first, let me get my coffee ready. I got a large iced coffee with almond milk and, and three Splendas. Yum. So then I got, smells good. I've never had this before. Only got it because it was less than points. A veggie egg white with cheese on an English muffin. It says it's only eight points. I don't know. It looks really good, actually. Let me try it. Hmm. That actually is really good. I really, I found this out the other day when I got Dunkin' Donuts that I really like um, their English muffins. Sorry. I feel disheveled right now, you know? So you know how, um, show on my window. Let me roll my window up a little. So, I was going to go to Starbucks. I went and got gas. I dropped off my orders. And right after I dropped my orders off, I looked on the Starbucks app to, to see if they had um, the reduced fat turkey, turkey, whatever, turkey bacon cheddar sandwich thing. It's only six points there. I was going to get that. The one over by my house didn't have it available and I really didn't want Starbucks coffee anyway because Starbucks coffee is always higher in points um, than Dunkin is so well I guess it depends how you got it but I don't really like um, I like Dunkin just if I just get regular this is really weird I know but if I just get regular iced coffee with almond milk and Splenda I like it better from Dunkin Donuts than I like it from Starbucks if I get, like, a specialty drink or, you know, one with pumps of stuff and everything like that, I like it better at Starbucks. If I get iced coffee in the store, I like the Starbucks brand better. It's so weird. I'm very particular. But anyway, so I kind of wanted to go to Dunkin' anyway because even though I wasn't sure what they had available that's, like, good in points or whatnot. While I was driving, I was like, should I film? Should I just stop filming and restart tomorrow? Because my day has been like a bust. I woke up later than I wanted to. I did everything I wanted to so far. It's just that everything took way longer. Um, like my plan for today was to wake up. Actually, that's not true. I didn't do everything I wanted to. Um, my plan for today was to wake up, publish my video for today, my what I eat in a day. Um, and I just had to like blur out my address on it. So I knew I, instead of when I went to bed last night, I was like, I'll just do that in the morning. I should have done it last night because it took me way longer than expected. Cause I never did it before. And I also had to like re, um, process it because it was already processed. So it took way longer than I thought. Then my goal was to walk and draw my orders off. I didn't do that. I did exercise, which is a good thing. Um, I wanted this to be like a what I eat in a day, um, like on the go, because I the camera died. 
Um, what was I saying? So I wanted to, wait, where did I even end off? I worked out. That was good. I wanted today to be like a on the go. I was going to eat lunch out, which I am, but it's way later than I would want. I'm supposed to take a drive out to Easton, which is like, or it's not even Easton. It's Nazareth or something like that. But I was supposed to drive out there to go pick up my cardstock that I ordered, but the warehouse closes at four. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow because I need it. Um, so I don't know. I need to go to Target. I wanted to drop off my donations and I forgot to bring them. So I can't do that. So literally, I don't even know what this vlog is going to be. It's going to be like a malfunctioned day in the life. I think it's more so going to be like a what I eat in a day because that's literally all I've done so far. I'm going to finish eating this and then we'll head over to Target. Guys, I wanted to tell you. Look who's right here. Guess what? Me and Bobby got. You'll see it. Season passes, baby. Or, yeah, season pass to Dirty Park. We going. It's going to be me. It's going to be me on that roller coaster right there. Me and Bobby got those season passes, baby. This weight on my shoulders is slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here. No one to blame this on. Feeling so hopeless. I keep on pouring salt on my wounds. I should That escalated quickly. I'm addicted to shopping. We went into Old Navy <clears throat> and I used the fitting room, which I haven't used a fitting room since before COVID. So over a year, I haven't been in a fitting room. So honestly, that was really nice. I was really happy to use a freaking fitting room. I stopped in Ulta and they didn't even have what I went there for. I went there to get Self Tanner, a specific brand, um, and they did not have it at this one for some reason. Uh, and Old Navy was right next door, so I went in there. Now I'm trying to decide what to do. This might actually turn into an eating out day vlog anyway because Bobby texted me. Um, for dinner, he was gonna make pork chops like on the griddle outside and he said he experimented but they did not come out good at all so he said that I probably am not going to like it so to either get something or I'll make something so I'm trying to think maybe I'll get something um I have let me see how many points I have left for the day now I'm in like shopping mode though I want to like go everywhere. I want to go to Marshall's. I want to go to TJ Maxx. It's 743. I don't know what time Marshall's closes. I only have 11 points left for the day. So I don't know if I should just go home and make something. My phone's also dying and my charger is broken. I can't get it to work. So I'll probably just go home, but I need to decide if I'm going to get something or if I should just make something at home. I would say I would try and get Chick-fil-A, but the line is always literally insane, so I'm not even going to try. I think I should just go home and try and get something. 
I think I already spent enough money today anyway. All right, I guess I'll go home. I'll show you guys what I got and then I'll meet dinner since it's 7.44 now. I'm not even that hungry because I ate that egg sandwich, which was really, really good. I'm definitely going to get that again. So, all right, I'll see you when I get back. Oh, and by the way, how funny is this? So today after I got dressed, I put on, you know, press on nails because I haven't had any on. I've been really biting my nails really bad. Um, and they just look terrible and also to keep me from biting them. So I was like, let me put them on, put them on. But I was rushing so badly that I didn't take the time. I did two things different. I didn't buff my nails first and I did not hold them down and press them on. Um, cause normally I'll press them each nail on for like 20 seconds. I didn't, I just pressed them on until they stuck and literally look one's missing from here they are all missing on my right hand except for my thumb that's insane i think i can't believe how much of a difference both of those things make i don't know which one more i think is the pressing and holding it down more i know for a fact that's why it's not the nails because i have been these are the nails that i got like a while back um they had sent me majosi they had sent me like a, a bunch of them that i put in a video before and they're really good. They don't pop off. The ones that I had on before this, they were on for, I'm not joking, like two weeks. They'll last two weeks if you put them on properly. But these ones didn't stand a chance. So now I'm going to have to go home and put them back on if I can. I guess I'm done complaining now. Oh, look, Pier 1 Imports is right here. But I guess all the Pier 1s shut down, huh? They went out of business. See when I go. Before I go upstairs, I'll show you guys what I got from Target. The stuff that's staying down here. Got Bobby some Spindrift. It was actually on sale. Cafe Bustella. We needed some more of this wood cleaner. I always use that. They didn't have the eggs I usually get, so I got this brand. Um, whatever. That's fine. I got some beef, 92%. And then I got these Celsius drinks because I've never tried them and I wanted to, but I also picked up an Alani watermelon weave. So that's it. That's the boring stuff. Actually, that's a lie. Also got, I can't find the light ready whip anywhere lately. So I got this almond milk one, which I've had before. I'm pretty sure I didn't like it, but we'll see. Um, iced coffee. I got, oh, I actually, I got, actually, I got a Starbucks one too, because Bobby's been drinking it now too. And then the last thing I got was this one um, raspberry Greek yogurt and I got this because it was two points and I'm gonna try and use this the same way I did this morning that I didn't like it so I'm sure I'll like it with this one because it's flavored oh I also got these two bowls these two black bowls I got two of them I already put them in the sink but very cute And I got dog food for these dogs. Wow. Can I have some? Wow. She's outrageous. You're outrageously cute. <laughs> and generally <laughs> outrageous. Just generally outrageous. Look at her swim. You're so cute, me. What are you doing? He's waiting for his D-I-N-N-E-R, which is not spelled dying. He knows how to spell. Uh, uh, Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> that was ridiculous. ridiculous. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> that was the magic word. Magic word. Right. Baba, no, 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 no. Are you my honey bunny? Are you my honey bunny? Are you my baby bunny? Look at this room right now. First of all, I didn't make the bed today. It's a freaking disaster. Look at this chaos from when I was getting ready. I left my plate there. That is from last night, all clean clothes that I didn't fold and put away. Look at this, it looks all janky, it's like all crazy. If you don't make the bed and just tidy up every day, it looks a disaster. It looks honestly worse than it is. I am going to clean up this disaster real quick. It's only gonna take a few minutes. And then I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Room is clean. 
Look at that, super easy, took no time at all. Put all the clothes away, a little, little candle. Obviously I still have to vacuum and stuff and I really do need to do like a good dusting in here. Good for now. I also have to clean this down, but it's fine. So, okay, let me show you what I got here first. So, from Ulta, Ulta here's what I got. Um, I went in for the self-tanner. They didn't have it, that's okay. I wanted to look at the Morphe stuff, um, and I got the setting spray, which I've heard is really good, and it was on sale. And I also got this micro brow pencil. Um, I won't use this every day. Like, for my eyebrows, I use the dip brow. Um, and that's because I have, like, no eyebrows. My eyebrows are very light and very thin. I don't have a lot of hair. It doesn't grow. So if I'm not doing my makeup um, and I want to just, like, darken them up and give them a little shape, then I'll use, like, a brow pencil. And otherwise, I don't use a dip brow. Because, like, if you use a dip brow, like, on a non-made face, like, if you don't have foundation on and then you use dip brow and have, like, full brows, it, I don't know. It's weird. It doesn't stay on the same. doesn't go on the same. It doesn't look the same whatever so that's all I got from Ulta because I felt like Ulta was like smaller than the other ones that I went to I wanted to look at the Morphe lip liners and eyeliners and they didn't have either they didn't have any at all it was weird it was like a smaller section it's very strange I don't know I'm moving on from Old Navy I picked up these <laughs> antibacterial hand wipes they're only two dollars i actually thought that they were just wipes and i wanted to keep them in the car and use them for the car maybe i still will but whatever so then from and this is all just like the non-clothing stuff that i'm showing you first then the rest of the stuff from target that i got i got the native coconut and vanilla body wash it smells really good and i really like native um i love the smells of their stuff especially the eucalyptus i used to like last year i tried using the eucalyptus native deodorant and you know it's like all natural so it's supposed to be better for you but i've always heard like whatever you know what long story short bottom line it didn't work it would make me more smelly than if i wasn't wearing any deodorant at all it was very strange i tested it out everyone said it takes time it takes time when you switch over to all natural um but guess what it it took too much time. It took months. Bobby was like, oh my God, you need to stop. But he hated it. And I kept trying, trying, just wasn't working. It was, it was crazy. It's so strange. I don't know why that happens. But anyway, the body wash is fine. It doesn't do that. I wish they had eucalyptus body wash, but I haven't seen it anywhere. Then I also picked up some more dry shampoo, a sponge. I haven't used one of these in so long, so I wanted to try it again. And then I picked up this e.l.f. camo CC cream. Um, I like that it has sunscreen in it, but really, whatever, I just got this because it's supposed to be really, really good. I think that it's supposed to be like this Bye Bye Foundation by It Cosmetics. I don't know. I'll let you know. It's even shaped just like it, so I think it's supposed to be like a dupe for that. I don't know. Either way, people say it's good. And then I also just picked up a sharpener because the one that I have is like the thing keeps opening and then it makes a mess so that's all I got for that so now I'm going to show you all the clothes I got I guess I'll just try them on because the stuff from Target I didn't try on yet anyway so um yeah I guess I'll just try it on for you now okay so first up I just got this t-shirt dress in this like salmon-y type of color it's like vintagey looking you know what I'm saying or like distressed or whatever I don't know but um it's very comfortable I think they run big this is a medium uh the large was really big but it's very comfy I mean it's not form-fitting but I don't want it to be so that's good I feel like I look kind of like frumpy I don't know but maybe when I have like shoes on and you know like a bag on and stuff it might look a little better but if not that's fine I'll just wear it around the house in the summer super comfy and yeah very cute I like it this one is from Target um this dress it's like a minty like bluish tealish color um I am like very surprised I was like worried because I feel like dresses like this like with ruffles and all that could make you look like bigger and make you look 
like pregnant and you don't want to look pregnant if you're not pregnant you know what i'm saying so but if you are pregnant then it's beautiful i'm just saying if you're not pregnant you don't want to look pregnant so anyway <laughs> i was worried it was gonna be like that but it's not i don't know i guess because it's tight up here um and there's i don't know but i like it a lot i think it's really cute um it looks like it's like a little bit longer in the back but I really think it's cute. By the way, this is the Wild Feeble brand, which I know for sure does not run small. I mean big, it does not run big. Like at Target, the A New Day brand, they definitely run bigger, but Wild Feeble does not. And this is a large and you just saw how it fits. So I think it fits perfect. A medium would have been too small. This is from Old Navy. It's like a denim material dress um, with straps. And then this part is like stretchy material. I don't know if you could tell. I think you could tell. But anyway, yeah. And then it's like long, cute. I feel comfortable in it, you know what I mean? I just love wearing dresses like this in the summer. And last up, these are the jeans that I got from Old Navy. And they are size 12 and I'm very happy because look, they're not like, I'm not like bulging out. I'm not even showing you. I'm not bulging out here. Um, they're not like stretchy, stretchy jeans, you know, they're like jeans. So they like suck in here. You know what I'm saying? I really love the way they fit. They were $45 and I'm never going to buy. Don't let me, you hear me? Don't let me buy any more jeans from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and that's it. Don't let me buy jeans from there. Say, Tina, buy jeans from Old Navy. They're good. I really like the way they fit. I feel comfortable. They make me feel confident. I'm happy about it. This is a shirt from Target. It's a size large. Um, it was so cheap. It was like $8. You see the material on it's really nice. It's so soft, so comfy. And yeah, it's the a New Day brand. I feel like they have such good stuff. Only $8. So nice. And it's yellow for the um, summer. I love it. I'm really happy with it. Everything is a keeper for sure. Um, I'm very happy with everything. Really happy about these jeans. If summer wasn't coming up, I would have gotten another pair of jeans. Jeans that I feel comfortable, comfortable and confident in is worth the $45. Honestly, it really is. Because there's so many times that me and Bobby go out somewhere or go to dinner or whatever we're doing. And first of all, if I can't find something to wear, I am stressed out. I've been in tears. I'm sure you've been there before. Especially when I was at my heaviest. I didn't even want to go out because I had nothing to fit right. Nothing that I felt okay in. Um, and it was just terrible. It was so terrible. So I just don't ever want to be there again. And a big part of it wasn't just the fact of my weight. It was that I didn't have the right fitting clothes for my weight. I didn't have the right fitting anything. Whatever weight you are, you need to get what fits, you know what I'm saying? If it's too big, sometimes it makes you look even bigger. If it's too small, sometimes it doesn't look great, so. Okay, that's my rant. Rant over. Um, I'm going to change out of this, put this stuff away, and then go make some dinner. I know it's really dark in here, and I'm sorry. But I figured out what I'm going to have for dinner. Very easy and simple. I'm going to have a little salad, arugula, blue cheese, onion, I'm gonna try and use some of this, like two points worth of it, because it's so bad in points. But it's a small salad, so it might be okay. And then on the side in the air fryer, it's preheating right now, I'm gonna do these Kid Fresh chicken nuggets, which I'm gonna put in right now. So I'll just show you after, because it's not anything special I'm making, so I'll show you. Here's my little nuggies, and I did 17 grams of um, no sugar added ketchup to dip them in for zero points. And look at my little salad. And I put it in my new little bowl, I washed it. Um, yeah, so I'll put on the screen everything that was in it. Very good, I tasted it. It's, I mean like, who am I? Three salads in a row, three days in a row. Who is she? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know who this girl is. But today is day three of being on track. Day three of drinking water every day, day three of having no soda, um, and day three of three salads in a row. That's pretty crazy. So, yeah. And I exercise today. I can't say day three in a row of exercising, but 
two out of three days, so I'll take it. So I'm just gonna eat now. I'm already in my pajamas. Um, I'm just gonna eat, watch TV, and then I have two points left for the day, so if I have anything, it'll probably be like an ice pop or, cause those are two points. I don't know. I don't really know. We'll see how I feel, but all right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Sorry it didn't really like go as planned. It was a little like, it wasn't exactly what I planned, but it was fine. I will see you guys next time. Definitely make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.